I'm here in Thermobaca, a Carmelite Centre in Derry. We came up yesterday evening and we had some talks downstairs with the prior here and with uh, Jean Corrie. The, uh, he came over from London. Um, so it's early in the morning and um, I just wanted to encourage everybody, all men, to come to Derry today and everybody to come up to the Novena tomorrow. Um, Dana will be there both days. But today in a special way, um, I want, I'm asking men to stand up and be men of prayer. Men of prayer. We can't give what we don't have. And um, prayer is an encounter. And I think this is coming through more and more as we as we love our Lord, as we pray with him, as we give him our worries, our sin, our failings, our depressions, our uh, problems. We give them to Christ in prayer. We talk with him, we face him. And that came through so clearly in praying with the heart yesterday. That, you know, we have to continuously offer ourselves in prayer to Christ. Here I am, Lord. Um, here I am, a place before you, everything that I am. You know, we recognize what is hurting us and we we give it to Christ in prayer because that's what, that's what he's asking us to do. He doesn't want us to live with the things that are blocking us encountering him, Christ. He doesn't want us to live with that. Um, another thing, just to acknowledge, and I suppose people will, will say it, here in Derry, there have been so many incidences of, of suicide. Um, it's a, something that the town, the city, is, is well aware of. And I suppose the message I want to give to those that are depressed, that are anxious, encounter Christ. And I know this may seem, oh, Robert, this idea that you're putting, I, I don't understand it. It's very simple. Come and adore our Lord. Give your will to a, to a higher power who does exist, who wants to come in and, and give healing in your life to help you. And today you'll see lots of men from around Ireland here in Derry at the Long Tower at St. Columba. Um, and they might inspire you to, you know, start on this journey of knowing him more, of knowing Christ more. This Christ that deeply loves us, that, that wants to have a relationship with us. Because prayer is a relationship. The Catholic faith is a relationship. We don't believe in a set book. We don't believe in words written on a page. We believe in him alive, alive in our liturgy, alive in his word alive in our hearts in prayer, alive in that encounter in prayer. So just a big call out today. Uh, would be a beautiful day, no matter who comes. Um, but, uh, you know, I'm, I'm asking men to step up, to take that challenge of knowing him more and to take that challenge of inviting others to know him more. We need to invite other men to know him more. Um, because prayer is such a beautiful encounter. That's my encouragement. Anyway, um, just a massive thank you to the Curcio movement yesterday, who did so much for us, to Aoife, um, and Thomas, Patsy, and the rest of you. Uh, a big thank you to Bishop Donal for supporting this. A uh, big thank you to Father Jared in the Long Tower and to the priests that are coming today and to the Carmelites here, Father Stephen. Um, and a thank you to, the, to all the men that have supported this. This isn't just for us. This is for Ireland. We have to bring him to the hearts of, of those that need to know him here in Ireland. It's a mission for Ireland. We are a missionary territory because we need to bring him. Anyway, that's my encouragement. God bless you and pray for us. Take care. Bye bye.